All right, great. Now we're on the category pairing panel, this panel here. And this panel will be displayed after you use the, the category data panel over here on the left. Now, if you've watched the previous video, you'll know that my category columns are called Cartlev 1, Cartlev 2, and 3. If we, over, if we hover over these fields on the left, we can see our category names, and that's so that we can we can confirm what each of these values, what level each of these values belong to. And that is important in a situation where we have the same category name within our data under multiple parents. Now, it's all about mapping the values in our categories. Uh, so we're mapping the, the actual distinct values and their level to IDs in the blog. Now, I say that because these menus over here will list our categories and they will have the IDs on the left of them, but there's no hierarchy. So there's a little bit of difficulty in there at the moment. We should be able to improve that at some point. For now, what we do is we open up the categories. Now, you may be working on a custom post type, so remember that. You may be, you may be required to work in the categories for that custom post type, which CSV to post can do. That's absolutely not a problem. And you would open the categories up, and what you need to do is double check the ID for the category you want to map to. Right, so in my situation, I have the, the gaming value, distinct value. It's in my third column, so that's, that's level. Right, let's get this right, because I think somewhere in these videos I, I've maybe caused confusion. And forget, level, level zero is on the interface here, and that's what I refer to the first level as. I keep referring to, obviously, the, it's the second level as the third level because of the, how I've named my columns. So what we're actually doing is looking at, if I go back to, to columns, we've got 0 and then 1, 2. Um, I, think, I think really we need to be referring to that as 1, 1, 2, and then 3. So this would be, each dash is, is a, we count 1, 2, 3. So that would be level 3, right? Um, and I probably just have to change this on the interface uh, to avoid confusion. So let's just say, let's just stick to the to the, the how I've named the columns. So it's level three gets paired with the level three category called gaming, and that is this one here. So one, two, three, um, gaming. Hover over that at the bottom. It shows tag underscore id equals four. So if I come back and find the 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 gaming category with the id four and not select the other one. So that that would essentially tell the plugin that all all posts that have gaming as a category on the, as a level three category belong to the existing category with the ID of four and not the one with the ID of six and so on. And I hope I explained that in detail and hope I mean I hope that I hope that's clear. Now what will happen is if I left this as it is, let me just submit that actually. That's fine. Plugin accepts that. Uh, the menu is not holding its uh, state at the moment. Um, the setting is still saved. It's just a little glitch in there because I'm I'm still developing the plugin. It's not finished. I've not even begun on the the meta screen and etc. Um, so basically, what will happen by the time people are using the plugin and so on is these menus will hold their state. Um, the important thing to know is that you don't have to select, make a selection in, in every menu. For example, if I select computers and I select PC, let's put that to there. Um, let me see. Actually, I won't select PC. Personal computers, I'll leave that just now. That's another point I need to make. And Elite Gaming. Right, okay, so if I if I done this setup and clicked submit and then created posts, computers would be mapped to computers. PC PC would be automatically mapped to PC here. Now I've I've toyed with the idea of automatic of sort of pairing that automatically on the interface also. Is that an idea you would like to be implemented? So what I could do is when this loads up it wouldn't be a case of you know PC being mapped to PC with ID three only be, simply because there's only one category named PC. It would be 
it would be mapped to this one because of its level. So if I come over to here, that's 1, 2, level 2. And if I hover over this, that's my second column, cart level 2, and the second level within my data. So the plugin would determine all that and could automatically make that relationship. I don't see why not. I think I think I can do that. Um, well, I know I can do it. Uh, does it does, but does it make sense to you for these to be automatically populated in, in that way? Please, as I said, please let me know. Now, what would happen, as I said, in, in this situation, that would be paired and posts with this category term would automatically be put into the category with ID3, the PC category ID3. As for personal computer, now, there's not a, a category named personal computer in my blog. And therefore, the plugin would create a category named personal computer. If, however, I didn't want another category, and I didn't certainly didn't want one named personal computer, what I could do is map that to PC. And that's where the mapping functionality uh, really becomes important, because over the lifetime of a blog, you may have many categories used in various ways. Your users will obviously know those categories, they, they might exist in screenshots, videos, they could be everywhere. So you don't want to go messing around with the blog just to suit the data in, in, a, in a lot of situations. And therefore, that's why you pay for CSV to post, isn't it? Um, and we, we can map any value to, to any category. All right. Um, obviously, if you get it wrong, for example, personal computer, if you map that to something wrong, you make the wrong selection in this menu, Things can go a little haywire, so it's you know it's well worth taking your time and getting these things right. Uh, what else? Uh, elite gaming that's similar to personal computer. That would be the same really. Actually, that would this would result. There's not an elite gaming category, and therefore an elite gaming category would be created unless I I map that and map that to there. All right. I hope I hope that made made sense. I think I've covered everything. Um, I've asked for a little feedback in, in the video. Um, I don't know if that was wise because if I do make the changes then um, I maybe just have to make the video again. Uh, I think that's that. When I, when I submit this, I should probably say, because this is this could be the last panel people use. Um, I think users might be, tend to go into category description next and then category pairing. Either way, you will, you will eventually end up on the projection screen. I'm not going to go into that, that really requires another video, but what's important to know is that you'll get more out of the projection screen by making selections in the category pairing panel. Um, there's some advanced stuff goes on in the projection screen and it will reflect, or your, your actual selections here on this panel will be reflected in that, that screen. And that's one way to double check that you've made the right selections. Now, if you're in a situation where you have a lot of data, you have a longer list of distinct values. My data is small, it's for the sake of testing and keeping things, uh, you know, the screenshots are easier. Uh, if you have a lot of categories, you're going to, this panel will be long, it, it will extend all the way down the screen. And I, I, I can't even guess how many categories people may be working with. So if you find you're in a situation where you do have a lot of distinct values, it's you know becoming difficult to manage, then let's talk.